wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it's been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island, and we're grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. We're also grateful to have the opportunity to celebrate the achievements of our scholars who graduate today. On their behalf, let us express gratitude for the support of their families and friends, and for the faculty and staff who have guided them in their pursuit of knowledge. Whatever our own traditions, let us reflect as we proceed through convocation ceremony on the many years of effort, sacrifice, and success that have brought us to this time of celebration. In Conculium Universitatis Torontonensis Vocatus Sumus. Graduates, please remain standing. All guests, please be seated. In signisigme cancellari, presente tibi hoskis cosclares, at admittitur ad gradus varios, torsca ios quo omnia quae, statuta recurrent aptos e ondio ios esse. Ad perfectum hius pervincae, jurisque magne patriae, et ad perfectum omnium nasinum, omnibus interis conians carum. Ergo, ex autoriteti mihi et toti universitati commissa, admito vos ad gradus varus. Curum ura probis do, et peto quoque ut omnia conficiatis munerae, quae ad illus gradus pertinent. Graduates, please be seated. My name is William Goff, and it is my great privilege to serve as the Vice Principal Academic and Dean at the University of Toronto Scarborough. Today, I have the additional privilege of assisting Professor Wisdom Tete Vice President of the University of Toronto and the Principal of the University of Toronto Scarborough in conducting this convocation. The University is an institution with deep historical roots and many enduring traditions. Among those is our use of the language of the medieval university in today's wonderful celebration. So for those in attendance, like me, who are less than fluent in Latin, a translation may be helpful. For my part, I said, most distinguished chancellor, I present to you these scholars that they may be admitted to the various degrees. And I bear witness that as far as all things which the statutes require, they are fit and suitable. Much more significantly, from the standpoint of the graduating class, Principal Tate then replied, to the benefit of this province, this great country, and to the worldwide community of nations, I, by the authority vested in me and in the whole university, admit you to your various degrees, grant to you the rights and ask of you the responsibilities of doing all those things which pertain to those degrees. And so, as my first order of business, I am delighted to salute you, the graduating classes of 2022 from the University of Toronto Scarborough. That's it, you're done. Congratulations.
I would also like to bid a warm welcome to everyone who has joined us here in historic Convocation Hall. It is wonderful to be able to celebrate the first in-person Convocation season since November 2019. You can clap. Isn't it great? Graduates, today the University of Toronto is formally recognizing your hard work, your accomplishments, your perseverance, and this milestone. Speaking of perseverance, you have successfully completed your program in extraordinary and challenging times. And today's celebration is all the more meaningful for it. Each of you, as a member of the graduating class, is joining an extraordinary family of University of Toronto alumni. They number over 600,000 in more than 190 countries around the world, and they include me. They are the university's living legacy and our greatest ambassadors. U of T alumni serve in leadership roles in every corner of the globe and in every walk of life. They are prime ministers, justices, scholars, authors, community and business leaders, scientists, and professionals of every description. Their endeavors have shaped the world we live in and the way we understand that world. We have no doubt that the University of Toronto's high international standing can be attributed to generations of dedicated and very talented faculty and staff members, some of who are behind me today. But we also understand that this reputation has been built by our alumni, a group that now includes each and every one of you. So to the graduating class, let me say thank you. Thank you for your many contributions to the university while you were a student. Thank you for what you will do as members of Canada's largest, and I believe, most distinguished alumni community. One more word of thanks is in order. I'm sure all graduates share a sense of gratitude to the friends and family members who have helped them bring them to this special day. And so I would ask you to join me and the platform party in thanking them with a vigorous round of applause. <laughs> Let me continue with a request. One of the distinguishing features of our convocation is that graduates come forward individually to be recognized. You will then leave the stage using the ramp, exit out the door and around the hall. At that point, you will turn left and quietly re-enter the hall as your peers continue to be recognized. In this regard, I encourage you to think of one individual, the very last person to be on stage. And I believe that is Theodore Zacharias Papadopoulos. Theodore, can you stand please? There's Theodore. UTSC is a wonderful community and family, and so I think all of us here, platform and all of you, want to be here for Theodore's graduation. So I look forward to seeing you. And I have a challenge to you as well. Yesterday there were two UTSC convocations and virtually everyone returned to see his counterparts yesterday. So be here for that great moment. Thank you, Theodore. Finally, in light of ongoing health and safety concerns regarding the pandemic, we respectfully ask that all individuals present, except those speaking here, 
wear a properly fitting mask throughout today's ceremony. Similarly, we will forego the traditional handshake, but promise to offer a friendly wave of acknowledgement as you pass by us on the stage. Thank you for your understanding and assistance. And once more, warmest congratulations. It is now, give yourself an applause, yes. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. It is now my privilege to introduce today's convocation speaker, Mr. Lieben Gabriel Mikkel. Mr. Gabriel Mikkel is a widely respected community leader who has over 30 years of experience in the fields of primary health care, social services, mental health, and community development. He currently serves as the executive director of Taibu Community Health Center. Under his excellent leadership, Taibu has been honored with the inaugural Scarborough Heroes Awards, the Black Health Allegiance Legacy Award, and the Outstanding Organization Award from the Jamaican Canadian Association. Please welcome Mr. Lieben Gabriel Mikkel to the podium. Thank you very much, uh, distinguished University of Scarborough academic faculty members, Vice Principal Wisdom Tete, parents and families, and of course, graduating students. Um, there are a couple of things that were said earlier that are not technically true. You're not done yet. <laughs> and there was a mention about success and I'm gonna talk about that. But um, it is my greatest honor to be standing here before you to give the speech as you celebrate this great success. I have a lot to say, but I'm limited with time, so my speech today might feel like it's another class lecture. That's why I'm saying you're not done yet. So I would like to start with sincere apologies, and at the time, you thought that you were done with class. And because I'm gonna speak fast, I would like you to take your notes out and take some notepads and take some notes. So let me start by saying, without any criticism of the university or you or your beloved parents and families here today, that the degrees being conferred upon you, the knowledge that you have gained through painful experience, sleepless nights, stress, especially during this challenging time of the pandemic, is going to be at a very high risk of being futile if not paired with some crucial foundational principles and values. For some reason, as I accepted this invitation to speak today, a television series came into mind. I was planning my speech. I don't want to date anybody, but I was growing up, I used to watch this television series called Get Smart. As the movie started, Don Adams, the actor, would go through several doors, sliding doors, elevator doors, doors that would open sideways, some doors that would open like garage doors. Um, I guess are you about to facing a new few doors as you enter in your new phase in your lives? I think you get be better get smart. As we're all gathered here today to celebrate success, I want to talk about success versus impact. You see, success should not be selfish or self-centered. You don't want it to be just about you. You don't want it to be limited or even limiting you. With success, you can only measure the value, even though it can be appreciated by others. I want to talk to you about something more. I want to talk to you about impact. You see, impact is, bitter, is bigger than self. It is limitless. When you make an impact, it's not a moment of just celebration, but a permanent impression. Contrary to success, it is measured and valued by others, but appreciated by you. I did not start very well, not that the opportunity was not there. My father was a very strict old school believer in education. If you were not among the top three in class, you were a failure. I must have been hearing his instructions or may I say harsh encouragement 
upside down. We don't, um, whether by intention or by chance, I would always end up at the bottom three in class. We don't have to go through, you know, time to go through my whole life, and, but at some point in my life journey, I became a social worker. I began to understand and appreciate the privilege of serving others, thinking about others, working to better others, and then years later, I joined this amazing organization with the impact of, uh, with the mandate to impact others, to impact the most vulnerable and disenfranchised communities, Taibu Community Health Center. When we started this journey 14 years ago towards excellence of reducing disparities and inequities experienced by black and racialized population, it led us to think, inquire, seek, understand, and embrace some very important values and principles by going back to our roots, just like we did this morning, going back to the old language uh, of, of Latin. The principle, the African principle of Sankofa. Sankofa is from the Akan people in Ghana, and it means going back to the past and bringing values and principles that will help us move forward and design our future. And so we went back and visited the values of our ancestors so we can craft our journeys forward towards change and towards systemic change with the ultimate goal of impacting positively the health and well-being of black communities across the GTA, the racialized communities in the Malvern neighborhood in Scarborough, where UTSC is located, the Francophone and indigenous communities as well in Scarborough. I mean, even if we look at great inventors, they were not just successful, that is, succeeded in what they were trying to invent or for the most part discover, but they were impactful. We think about electricity, we think about Alexander Graham Bell or internet, and I don't know who in invented internet until now, but it's impactful. Or civil rights giants such as Martin Luther King Jr., Mandela, or Gandhi, despite all the odds, they were successful in bringing about change, but the change was about others. That is impact. Today I stand before you as a black man because of the battles fought by these giants uh, and died for my civil rights. That's impact and impactful. And so, in addition to education, we need values and principles. And these do not come from universities, well, per se. I don't want them to cut my mic here. These are your homework assignments. I told you it was going to feel like class. I would like to share some of the African Center values and principles that we at Taibu have identified as our enablers for impact and systems change. These are ancient and community-rooted values and principles and have existed before time. The principle of Ubuntu from the Zulu language, I am because we are. You are because we all are. I know in Western civilization the I is king, it's about me, it is about the individual, but I believe this is just an illusion. In African traditions, there is no I without we. Your existence or even success without impact to others is impossible. Or the principle of Nia or purpose, uh, but again, it's not just about purpose for me, but purpose beyond the self. Or the Kwanzaa principle of collective works and responsibility, Ujima, to build and maintain our communities together and make our sisters and brothers problems, our problems and solve them together. Or Kumba, the principle of creativity, to perform acts that leave our communities more beautiful and beneficial that we, that we inherited, as opposed to individual expression of, of creativity. I could talk to you about the mad principles of Egypt or the history of the Maroons and the Quilombo villages, those who fought against slavery and inhuman oppression, they fought for self-determination. But the self in self-determination is not about the individual self, but the community self. So please, graduating students, there is nothing wrong with being successful. I would not be here if I didn't believe that success is important. But if your success today and the success is ahead of you, as you go through those doors that open before you, if your successes are not impactful, part, um, if they do not touch others, if, you, if they do not impact others, and particularly the most vulnerable and marginalized, if you cannot affect change to address indigenous specific racism, 
anti-black racism, homophobia, Islamophobia, ableism, homelessness, poverty, etc. Then only then you will only value your success. But if you are impactful and value uh, others will value your success. We can value your success. Your parents and families and communities will value your success. So please make us part of your success. So let your success be impactful. Go into the world through those get, mart, get smart doors and impactfully succeed. Congratulations. I would like to end with a wish or a greeting. Taibu. If you did not know already, Taibu is a Kiswahili word that means be in good health. Again, congratulations and have a good life. Thank you. Professor Wisdom today, I have the honor to present to you the following candidates from the University of Toronto Scarborough who are being admitted to the degree of Honours Bachelor of Science. Hanan Abdul Nasir. Michael Abavian. <laughs> Berku Akikos. <laughs> Maya Adesalem. <laughs> Koritel Ain. Mehreen Ahmed. <laughs> Lauren N. Albano. <laughs> Farkunda Elef. <laughs> Diana Karen Alexander. Kareem Al Halibi, <laughs> Alina Ali, <laughs> Mustafa Alasmik, <laughs> Amal Asharifi. Amanda Raquel Amea Rodriguez. Faith Preethi Anantharanjan. Sira Yasmin Anderson. Nafisa Anwar. Men Shek Al <laughs> Fei Ouyang <laughs> Sophia Sene Ayathuri <laughs> Shalar Azadani Muhammad Ushama Aziz Mohidirin. Nathaniel Bailey.
Maggie Lola Bamber. Leah Alexandria Banera. Nicholas Barsenas Duran. Justin Barletta. Emily Barrett. Munat Olabisi Barua. Jessica Ann Becker. Lavanya Bedi. Minji Ben. Lubna Hussein Ben Barim. Stephanie Shwita Bernard. Pooja Bahandari. Anjali Maya Kaur Bogal. Yingmin Bian. Rodas Barara. Matthew Thomas Blake. Jose Mai Boisanoel. Ayan Saad Buini. Stephanie Lara Boyadian. Shayna Isabel DeMello Brito. Ryan Brudner. Adelina Iona Bubarazan. Anusha Burhan. Victoria Crystal Butler. Sahir Butt. Reagan Emily Campbell. Brianna Alice Carey. RJ Tolentino Carlos. Marianne Glass Mulon Casanova. Ariel Isabel Hosan Kepnio. Brandon Chan. Stanley Honky Chan. Ragulan Chandranakanap. Ilakaya Chandran. Chiquan Chow. Nicholas Charalampas. Dina Catherine Ann Charles. Anjali Joyatnitra Chuhan. Miru Chen. Wan Ru Chen. Yushui Chen. 
Maureen Wong Chin. Pradeepa Narayan Chaudhry. Dean Evan Christidis. Shireen Clarissa. Kariel Rajan Cobham. Jessica Lauren Cocunato. Hafsadar. Alyssa Hima Das. Maral De Rohan. Jada Danielle Dimitradis. Fatma Noor Donmez. Emma Angelica Dunphy. Rachel Brenda Charlene Elliott. Hannah El Mahdi. Adriana Ensica. Ishrat Raman Fami. Nada Fakir. <laughs> Ahmad Basad Fakari. <laughs> Tolu Wanimi Iramidi Faromikya. <laughs> Hira Fatima. Mahin Fatima. Nicole Ahab Riyad Fayak. Shaman Fayaz. Hansel Ernst Ferrari. Keenan Dominique Fernandez. <laughs> William James Fernandez. <laughs> Anne Jeffney Fernando. <laughs> Wasim Fareg. Patricia Janina Figuerera. Allegra Giuliano Fiorino. Lamia Ferasta. Hermela Fasea. Maria Bassam Nader Francis. <laughs> Brianne Marley Francis Jean Pierre. <laughs> Naomi Shanice Fraser. <laughs> Camille Joyce Valenzuela Gadi. Anna Beatrice Galang. (Applause) 
Anton Mary Galendez. Nishtha Gandhi. Ya Gao. Nadis Lucia Edwards Gardiner. Joshua Gattaz. Kaylee Jacqueline McLean General. Franklin Bundy George. Afra Alansari Ghazi. Elite Glickson. Christopher Logan Goans. Tatiana Charmaine Graham. Kathleen Alicia Gro. Serene Guragagen. Adiba Hakim. Brian L. He. Dina Hajazi. Rachel Emma Hilton. Elaine Hone. Klee Hoksha. Ching Shi Shihi. Janet Hu. Y. Yvonne Huang. Lydia Gibia Hughes. Yu Chien Chi Hung. Abia Hussein. Sahar Hussein. Michelle Ng. Hannah Ria Jacob. Catherine Jason. Brandon Jeffrey Jang. Rose Margaret Bugarin Jardiel. Nisopa Jayakumar. Katrina Mary Jean Noel. Kanisha Jivaratnam. Jayani Jaganathan. Tayani Jaganathan. Saisad Jayakumar. Hawa Jamali. Michael Graham Joe.
Adil John. Vidhi Harendra Joshi. Michelle Mary Joyal. Afia Kabir. Rizwanala Kakar. Farhiha Kamran. Kian Kamran. Asa Kanani. Abirami Kankanathan. Hanisha Karimi. Shaheen Sean Karimi. Anjahuka Karan Atheas. Sama Zahid Kazmani. Arojina Kavath Arakanran. Sharifa Sharmin Kazi. Lohitha Kilawath Ugada. Hel Kavorkian. Anissa Fatima Kalfan. Azalifa Khan. Hiba Khan. Namira Zoha Khan. Naseba Fatima Khan. Obama Maria Khan. Soraya Belik Khan. Celine Kachigayan. Abby Madeline Elizabeth Killick. Kirushan Karup Harayan. Sylvanus Akingbola Koladi. Michelle Kong. Narogi Koganashen. Cassandra Charlotte Kustek. He Yu Michelle Kwai. Jordan Katharina Lackner. Isabella Dominique Pepolano Lagman. Vanessa Danielle Laham. Chuk Ling Lao. Emily Wing Shan Lao. Sun Him Lao. Haley Evangeline Antonia Lawrence. Ying Fei Li. Jocelyn Martha LeBlanc. 
Chi Q Lee. Jai Young Lee. Astrid Darinka Lavia de la Isa. Chi Lee. Yun Yin Lin. Bing Chen Liu. Mei Shi Lu. Shuen Gloria Lu. Daniel Joseph Lobo. Ben Meets Lubana. Yushin Liu. Nicole Jean Lee. Christopher Ma. Tung Hei Hillary Ma. Amanda Melissa Magurno. Kabatheni Maharwashan. Vithnua Mahaswaran. Abdul Wase Mahmood. Marjana Asani Maisha. Emily Christine Mack. Maisha Malayat. Katija Malkan. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Mastin. <laughs> Ashmita Mazmander. <laughs> Zachary Yang McCarthy. <laughs> Paige Cheyenne McCollin. Cheyenne Suku McIntyre. <laughs> Kayana Natalia McLean. <laughs> Aidan Sean McLeish. <laughs> Nisha Meta. Mary Bell Eileen Menzies. <laughs> Emma Rose Alina Mifsud. <laughs> Nicole Maleska. <laughs> Anna Marinella Samson Miranda. Zinia Mitsilios. <laughs> Ravina Afshala Mohabir. <laughs> Lena Amir Mohammed. <laughs> Robia Mohammadi. Jawaria Mohammed. Victoria Mary Rafida Mohammed. Rachel Marie Moncrief. Gabriella Marcy J. Chiwai Monson. Amir Ali Motabar. <laughs> Colin Munis. <laughs> Chris
Christina Mora. Amirtha Morali Tharan. Isaiah Nathaniel Murray. Aruj Nagman. Cecilia Nahil. Rawan Nahali. Rika Nakani. Athmika Nandan. Christiane Dipana Kajal Naran Singh. Rihanna Karida Narusadan. Joya Debnath. Samaya Arif Nathani. Euclid Irsen Ned. Hannah Faith Nyem. Alec Ching Kit Nyo. Elena Sultana Nikoforos. Ramsha Noor. Hena Norzada. Josiah Malemba Nyamwaba. Etion Ser Daniela Oliogu. Zachary Charles Douglas Osborne. Siddhi Karthikumar Pandya. Prabdeep Panasar. Patricia Janine Panganaben. Piloni Biran Kumar Patel. Yaya Javid Patel. Mana Banu Pathan. Marissa Pathmanathan. Mohammed Sohail Patil. Gabriela Avila Patro. Hadika Rahan Paul. Nathan John Perry. Alexander Petrogiani. William Alexandra Pichette. Vipushiani Pura Baharan. Sahar Popal. Emreen Papatiya. Komal Prakash. Alicia Santiana. Piore. 
Jariat Rehan Pernava. Sean Quinn. Tia Jobel Bansel Radovan. Ramiza Rafiq. Divya Raghu. Michelle Rebecca Raitman. Inara Nuruddin Rajabali. Joshua David Raja. Brentha Rajakumaran. Sachadevi Rayashamini Rajaram. Arish Ranjit Bradley. Khadija Rashid. Shatana Ratni Ratnasingham. Thalassi Ravin Thiran. Roshan Ravi. Emmanuel Kudzen Rina Mahota. Alexis Ritaka. Charlotte Claire Romaine. Madison Ann Ross. Kirsten Rutledge. Michelle Said. Ramanpreet Kaur Sagi. Sanan Sahib. Hien Sam. Sandra Maria Javier Samson. Elizabeth Santa Maria. Akathian Santha Kumar. Apatharini Santhira Kumar. Celestine Adeji Sarpong. Sanira Sarwar. Zenip Masood Sarwar. Aswari Luxami Santharantham. Shobika Santharasalian. And Jenna Sathies. Andre Serum. Abiram Selvakumar. Jacqueline Mimi Serber Agyameng. Anam Sheikh. Shetabanu Mohamedalias Sheikh. Ashmi and Rahada Sharma. Palak Sharma.
Rui Sheng. Yes! Dianel De Silva. Karaya Savina Singh. Miranda Thalisha Singh. Muskan Singh. Pervina Seraph Panchalingam. Corinne Smith. Destiny R. Smith. <laughs> Mosepa Fulwa Smith. <laughs> Amy Rachel Samra. Isha Sandi. Jonathan Matthew Subit. Manhal Satana. Ziba Faria Sultana. Ming Yu Sun. Nikitha Sunitha Kumari Vivek. <laughs> Thanukini Suthesaran. <laughs> Hiba Said. <laughs> Nabila Saida. Brianna Nicole Sharadi. Caitlin Nicole Tadras. Arta Tahavi Hagasaya. Dima Tayan. Erica Catherine Tam. <laughs> Fatima Tanver. <laughs> Maron Tagani. <laughs> Alessandro Tesarolo. <laughs> Anuja Thankaraja. Gavia Thankaswaran. Ashwina Thorillingham. Kelly Allison Thompson. Sujaya Takwatiba. David Wingming To. Mark Josel L. Treya. <laughs> Emily Tsai. <laughs> Rachel Laihi Tsi. <laughs> Christina Tsetsos. <laughs> Isabel Allegre Watson. Costa George Tsenopoulos Tsenis. Sruthi Udaya Kumar. Daryl Joseph Hokino Ugpo. Farhat Ula.
Charles Chukwunoso Umazudiki. Varan Vea Jahathas. Alexandros Nikolaos Vernassos. Kirthana Vijit. Laura Louise Walker. Ethan Wong. Xinyi Wong. Leba Wasim. Mohammed Mutaga Wasim. <laughs> Tiffany Mary Watts. <laughs> Stephanie Sindhu W. Benjamin. <laughs> Han Yi Wang. <laughs> Malik Rian. Raymond White. Victoria Alessandra White. Ethan Chad Gabriel Whittier. Gracie Wong. Joey Wong, <laughs> Jolie Kaihe Wong, Vincent Wen Sing Wong, Ciara Helen Wood, Izana Wosun. Brian Shonda Wood. Johnson Wu. Yi Sun Wu. Kathy Lee Min Shi. Chai Chi Shu. Ching Peng Chuan, Maruf Yakubu, Evelyn Tian Wen Yan, Yushui Yan, Samin Yasser. Jasmine Young. <laughs> Quan Yu Yim. <laughs> Sarozi Zafar. <laughs> Ming Ya Sang. <laughs> Ying Tong Sang. Yining Zhu, <laughs> Chen Zi Zhu, <laughs> Sarah Ahmad Aldin Zitun, <laughs> Jasmine Zohair, <laughs> candidates from the University of Toronto Scarborough who are being admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science. Kishbu Nilashabi Badharwala. <laughs> Kyu Yun Lee.
The Theodore. Theodore Zacharias Papadopoulos. On behalf of the University of Toronto, and by virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby admit all of those candidates not here present to their degrees in absentia. Thank you for returning to your seats. UTSC students never cease to make me feel proud. Thank you for returning for Theodore. As we conclude convocation, I wish to thank all of you for your participation and patience. To the families and friends and to those in the procession, let me say thank you. You have made this a more memorable event for each member of the graduating class. I would like to thank Professor Wisdom Tati, Vice President of the University of Toronto and the Principal of the University of Toronto Scarborough for presiding over today's ceremony. I wish to thank as well the many other colleagues and friends of the university who participated in this convocation, whose names you will find in the program. This year, the University of Toronto is proud to introduce a new and important ceremonial element at convocation. As you will have noticed, the Chancellor's procession was led by an eagle feather bearer. The eagle feather remained on the stage during the ceremony. This eagle feather was gifted to the office of the president by elders at the 2017 entrustment ceremony for the report of U of T's Truth and Reconciliation Steering Committee. To many indigenous cultures, the eagle feather is sacred because it flies closest to the Creator, delivering our thoughts and messages. The eagle and its feathers often symbolize respect, honor, strength, courage, and wisdom. As such, the eagle feather is an appropriate and meaningful addition to our convocation ceremonies. I now invite Principal Tete to bring today's ceremony to a close. As I bring this convocation ceremony to a close on this, your special day, I hope we'll see you often in the years to come. And I invite you to stay connected. We will be very interested in your journey, and we know that you'll make an impact for the better in whatever path you choose. Conquilium demisum est.